Hey, what's up guys? Derby here. Welcome back to another episode of Deltarune Chapter 1. In the last episode, we uh, took on the secret boss, Jevil, and uh, we also beat K-Round for a second, second time. And uh, we are approaching the finale of the first chapter, so let's get to it. Hey, there's Lancer. Father! Lancer, my son, have you dispatched the Lightners as I command? N no, but I didn't even matter. It turns out we don't actually have to fight them. They said they could just talk to you and... You're alive! Yes, but I think you'll like them a lot. They're CZ, she's very purple and strong, and... Where are they now? Um... Hello. Hey. It's nice to meet you. That's... That's uh, my son. Y yes father? Do you remember what I told you? D don't get too attacked. You have failed. They have poisoned you with their sentimentality. We are so glad, sir. They care not for you. Their only goal is to destroy our glorious fountain. They are scum. N no, they are What did you say? Oh, dear. Let him go. <laughs> you want me to let him go? Then how about this? I'll drop him off the edge and let him splatter. Unless you will kneel and learn your place. What will it be like, nurse? D don't listen to him, Susie. He'll... He'll... Oh, well, Neela. Now watch, that's a... See what happens when you befriend lightness. Oh, damn. What the... You... You traitor! Come back here. All right, enough already. Who the hell you think you are? <laughs> to my people, I am a hero. To you, I'm the bad guy. Uh. All right, here we go. Final boss time. So we are going up against the uh, king. Try um talking. And CZ and Rossig block. You tried to reason with the king. Silence, light bringer. Your very existence goes against our own. By the night's will, I shall shatter your heart to pieces. Your will is changing. Talk became courage. How dare you come here, light nurse? Oh boy. Oh, it's, it's the space. It's a lot easier than Jevil. <laughs> King's mouth babble in babble indecipherably. Is that like the mouth he has in his stomach? It's kinda weird, but also kinda cool at the same time. Let's try talking with the CZ. CZ tried to reason with the king. Alright, listen uh Lance is, Lance is my friend. So if we can get by this without hurting you then. If I perish, so be it. Show my son the monster you really are. Alright, you want to see what I can do, huh? Again, my CZ voice continues to keep changing. <laughs> CZ's will is changing. Talk became a red buster. You, that left us in the shadows. Stripped of meaning. Oh boy, interesting. Battlefield is rumbling. Alright, you talk with Browse. Or else they tried to reason with the king. You might not realize it, but this is a world where you don't have to fight. I know, if we try, we can all find another way. Such simple-minded platitudes. A shame you will not live to realize your naivety. Now perish with a pathetic likeness you worship. My, my friends and I aren't going anywhere. Ross's will is changing. Talk became dual heal. You 
dare return to torment us once again? Ah. Oh. Oh. Of course. King's mouth. King's mouth gave a berserk smile. Both mouths. Okay. You encourage the party. The party's defense raised for this turn. Beyond, we have found fresh purpose. Oh boy. Yeah. That one's that's a, that's a tricky move. Yeah, it's, 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 it's. You encourage the party, the party spends for this. For the night has appeared! So we just gotta keep going on this fight until we like tire out King. That's basically how this fight goes. You just gotta keep going until you, t you know, eventually tire him out. Carriage. Yeah. There's not really anything. Dude, we haven't taken any damage so far, so I mean, that's good. The knife that pulls the fountains from the earth! Gonna get a little bit of lore here. Ow! Okay, I took, okay, I took the damage now. Speaking off. Holy fountains whose shadow are creating a new world. Our world. Um. <laughs> Do you see now our new purpose? Music's banger. Soon <laughs> this world shall be blanketed in darkness, and darkness shall rule it! This dude's kinda crazy. You may see what it is like to live in despair. Ow. Um, a little too soon there. I think we just, we just keep going. We're gonna tire him out eventually. I know that. Actually, we let's just defend. It's not that big of a problem. Good. No, enough talk. Fall before the chain of justice. Oh boy. Darkness pours from the fountain. Quite strong, aren't you? I think we're making progress, guys. You can do this. He's also trying not to die at the same time. If I keep fighting you like this, then starting to give in, guys. Out. But we're making progress. Actually, I'll, uh, I'll see. Let me dual view. Actually, no. All courage, defend, and just heal prayer, Chris. Keep doing that. 
We'll get there eventually, guys. We are. It seems that. My knight, I shall not fail you. See that I cannot defeat. I have grown exhausted from our long battle. And his cape flies away like a butterfly. Right, yes. I. Perhaps. I. I have been too cruel. The truth is. I was not always this way. There was for the time. Where darkness and lightness lived in harmony. A time where darkness could fulfill their purpose in peace. It would be a lie to say that I, too, do not yearn for those days. Perhaps, perhaps you young ones are right. Please, let us put away our way. There must be a peaceful solution to all this. Come now, Susie. I'm glad you're starting to realize, Mr. King. None of us really have to fight. Uh, fight. If you could just tell us about your worries. I'm sure we can all be friends, Mr. King. Yes. Friends. That sounds... lovely. <laughs> My apologies. I am... I am not used to fighting like that. My body is getting weak. Oh, don't say another word. There, you should be all healed up. How do you feel? Let's see. Damn, plot twist. Didn't see that coming. Never better. Y yeah. Did I say you could get up? Oh, Chris? Oh. Oh, spare me the heroics. Oh, off I go. You, you're the leader, aren't you? So, what's your plan? To laugh as you cast us all back into obscurity? You can't even say? Young one, let me tell you a secret. Quiet people, take me off! Yeah, that's the thing Susie said to us at the start. Hey, get away. From my friend. <laughs> oh, what? You kill me. Yeah. So, what's your plan to talk me to death? You stupid, stupid light. You honestly think you have any way? To convince me not to kill you. Ah, uh, but they might. Oh, damn. Like so? Everyone, what is the meaning of this? Sorry, Dad, you're being overthrown. But I told everyone you were fighting the Lightners. Everyone remembered how kind they were. They decided they'd rather have a king that accepts them. Me! Now I'm the dad. <laughs> You idiot! The lightners are your enemies! Fools! I'll kill you! I'll kill all of you! Yikes! I think someone needs a time out! Go to your room, Dad! No! You alright, Chris? Hey, out there. Chris, Susie. Oh, you're alright. Yeah, it'll take more than that to take us down. Chris, Susie, I, I'm sorry. Because I healed the king, we almost, we almost. Susie, you were right. I, 
I was foolish to think we could act so soft to everyone. This isn't a world where kindness always wins, is it? Eh, it's complicated. Yeah, sometimes there's people you just gotta fight. But if you never let your guard down, then it might just hurt someone you care about. Aw, oh, that's easy. You're beginning to sound like a real hero. Eh, don't get used to it. Then I... I suppose you and Chris should return home now. Yeah, I... I guess that's right, huh? Well, uh... See ya. Huh? Chris, you wanna... Go say goodbye to everyone, don't you? Yes, I do. <laughs> well, if you're gonna make me... I guess we can go back for a bit. Let's go! Hey, before we go, we have to say goodbye to everyone, you know? We can't just leave unannounced. Right? We gotta go all the way back just to everyone we say goodbye to. Yeah, escape around. Because you rescued it, it grew to respect you. Well, actually, maybe it shrunk to respect you. Yeah. I'll be honest, at first we weren't sure how to make who to make our new king. I mean, Lancer has always been a bit of a pain, but after seeing how nice he treats you guys, I think he'll be fine. Susie, blue person whose name I neglected to learn all along. I thought you were going home ways. We were, but Chris wanted to say bye, you know? Oh, really? Ha ha ha, that's funny. I thought you wanted to say bye because we're friends. Huh, <laughs> I mean... I did not want to. Um, so, you're the king now, huh? Yes, and I'm changing some big rules. First, nightmares are now legal. Second, prison is now only for dads. Sounds like some pretty good changes. Hey, your dad was, uh, protecting the fountain, right? Is it gonna be okay if we mess with it? I have no idea. Um, it's you guys, so I trust you. If something bad happens, we'll fix it out. Yeah, yes, we'll just see, I guess. Um, um, see you later. I'm back soon. There's always room in town for a couple of clowns. Yeah. Uh. Mamma mia, what a celebration! This card is for a cake! And this time, I'll make it out of metal so animals can eat it. Well, that means we can't eat it. <laughs> what ho, what about us? Aren't we going to be restored as kings? Ah, uh, my treasure is unharmed. Carry on then. Us animals decided it's okay if the king stays in the cages as well. But they'll have to put on animal ears and noses. <laughs> What's going on? I slept through everything. As he looked at you, proudly. Kiss. Aw, hi Clover. The future looks sweet, like a pile of bees puked. Which is honey, I think. A kingdom with so much hope. I'll be in, screw it up. That means thank you. Come to our next birthday, too. We'll have one soon, if that's possible. I knew you could do it. Though I was your enemy, I was cheering for you. That's how much I disliked my job. <laughs> mm. I rule. Wonderful work, mine amigos. Thou hast toppled the tyrant, freest our creeds. Curious history shall not forget. The Tale of Rules Card and the Three Heroes! You did it. You housed that rotten tyrant. I'll happily accept the bounty of credit for my contributions. Unless the king reappears. In which case, I did nothing. Darn, horsey, you've been done us a big help. Now all enough us pieces can live in pieces. The great work. You're absolutely amazing. Honestly, we owe you. Best. You're the best. Hello. Thank you. I can go back to being a coat hanger now. By the by, I asked Sean to come here, but there wasn't any interest. Oh. Even a little ball can say something like thank you. Hello. Way to go, kids. Now we can go back to making the puzzles we love. Life's got no tutorial, so try your best. <laughs> All these voices. Chris, Susie, are you leaving? Hell, hell if I know. I'm just following Chris. 
Yes, we'll walk to the right if we are. <laughs> Susie, Chris, are you going to leave? Um, I... I just wanted to say, I... I... I really enjoyed meeting you two, and... Hey, can you stop mumbling into your hat for a sec? I can barely hear you, dude. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, damn, is that Andrew? <laughs> Uh, um, Chris, Susie, I, I hope I can see you again soon. Next time I'll make you lots of yummy cakes, alright? <laughs> Just love Susie's reaction. <laughs> Her hands, like, over Chris's face. <laughs> like, hmm? <laughs> uh, yeah, sure, dude. <laughs> Not getting my Susie voices. Keep changing. It's so inconsistent. I'm sorry. I don't know how to voice women. Sorry. Let's go, Chris. <sighs> All right. Let's uh. Let's get this over with. Here we go. We're at the fountain now. Is this a fountain? Don't know how, but it feels like we stumbled into something really important, didn't we? Well, there's no time to think about it. Think about that now. Right now, it's time to go home. Right, Chris? As you stood in front of the fountain, you felt something strange. It was as if your very soul was glowing. Oh, damn! That guitar riff, though. Oh. can't see anything. Hey, watch it! In the storage cupboard. Huh? The unused classroom. How'd we get here? Hey, Chris. What? What just happened? Like, that wasn't a dream or anything, was it? I don't know. Could be. Anyway, as I was saying, let's just tell off as we can find any chalk. Here, it's a worn down stuffed animal. Oh, it's like Sean. It's a checkerboard. There are pawns strewn on the, the board. It's a, it's a yellow, poorly drawn picture of a green turtle. It's signed Alvin. Man, the sun's already setting. Everyone else must have gone home by now. Guess Alphas will know better than to ask us next time, huh? These are these, but the entire adventure just wasted a whole day of school. Well, guess we should go. See you later, I guess. Chris? Wait, this is Susie. Let's go back there tomorrow, alright? Sure. Sounds good to me. Bye. It's atmosphere noisy. Alright, I actually think before we should, you know, we should probably call him Tori and let her know that we're alright. Chris? Whatever have you been doing? I sat in the car waiting for you after school for half an hour. I called and called, but you never picked up. You had your poor mother worried sick. Chris, I am afraid I'm going to have to punish you. Huh? A friend? You were spending time with a friend? Chris, 
I will make an exception this time. You can continue your adventures a little longer, but when you return home, you are going to have to go to bed early. See you soon, honey. Alright. And back to reality. Crazy, we spent so much time in the dark world that back to normal, normal things, normal life. I am done. Hey, punk, get out of the road. You're blocking traffic. Oh, wait, it's this escorts kid. Sorry, I'm a little uh, worked up lately. This job is so boring. Nothing ever happens in this town. Yeah, I just wish something would shake things up. Huh? You got something to report? Uh, should we tell her about the dark world? Yeah, but don't do anything illegal, you little punk. But let me know if you get a lane on any purple girl. There's one wanted on several counts of comic mischief. Oh, you were talking about Susie. Oh, yeah. But how am I supposed to get past this blue lady? I'm stuck. Dude, you could always, like, reverse and then drive around her. Uh, I guess I should just run away. Bruh. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. Hey, look who it is! It's everyone's favorite character! It's Sans! Hey, look who's walking around. How are you, kid? <laughs> Great to see you again. Who the hell? Who the hell are you? Um. Now it's safe. Yeah, it's real nice, isn't it? Especially considering I've never met you before. Name Sans. Sans the Skeleton. I'm new in town. What's up? Got me? Yeah, that's the grocery store. Unfortunately, it's closed. What a pain. I really wanted to buy some milk. I want to complain to the guy who runs it. <laughs> Sans belongs to you. We just moved here, so I hardly know anyone. Why? I don't want to know better. Uh, my mom. Your mother? Huh? You're like, I already befriended your mom last night. Ah! <laughs> he wrecked. He, 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 he wrecked me. She's great. Come to the chocolate. Come to the store to buy chocolate kisses. So she's got to lock her door to stop you from eating them. <laughs> you sound like a fun kid, huh? Mm. What about me? Oh, there, tiger. You can't just jump straight into friendship. It takes time. Alright, that's enough time. Take this. Call it whenever you feel like it. You got Sansa's number. Uh, let's, let's, try, let's try the number. Ring, ring. Hello? You have reached the hotline for idiot babies. <laughs> Please press one for idiot, two for babies, three for idiot babies, and four for none. Four. Why'd you call the hotline for idiot babies if you aren't an idiot baby? That wasn't, that wasn't your number, Sans. <laughs> Hey, bud. You busy tomorrow? I need some help with something. It'd be great if you could come over. I live just next door, you know? I'm, I'm going. <laughs> oh, you're in the living room. Been for a while. Gee, what's wrong? Don't want to hang out with a stranger? Well, guess I shouldn't complain. Huh? What are we going to be doing? Oh, I'm not going to be there. That'd be weird. Guess it's going to be you and my little brother. He needs friends. Thanks for hanging out with him. See ya. Knock, knock, knock. No response, but the distant trussle of bones. Yeah, papyrus! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, papyrus is there. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna leave you away from these guys. I don't want to be with them. Oh, flower shop. Hey, it's Asgore! Hello. Um -de -dum. Oh, there's someone there. Just a moment. I have almost finished watering these flowers. There we are. Howdy, how can I? Oh, Chris! Hey, hi, Dad. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot if you don't like hugs like that. Well, now, make yourself at home, Chris. You can help yourself to anything you like. Flowers, they look a lot like the souls from Undertale, and this one in particular is interesting. It's a golden flower, protected in a container. Well, 
can you? It's a door. It's locked. And there's a lot of course bed over there. He lives he lives in the flower shop. <laughs> oh, Chris, before you go. Here, we're all mother. Flower secret. You got the bouquet of flowers. Have a great day, Chris. Eh. I should bring sure there's something I want here in the like that. That's a good night. And this part. Oh, it's Onion Chan! Hey there, noticed you were here. It's me, you know me, right? Of course you do. I'm real popular. I just don't have any friends. But it's okay, you hear? Because you, you're you here. Will you be my friend? Sure. Oh, oh, I'm so happy you're here. I'm so happy I, I, I don't know what to do. I don't remember being this happy before. What's your name, Bren? <laughs> Hippopotamus. <laughs> Chris. Chris, that's you. That's a real nice name for a friend. Oh, excuse me. I forgot to introduce myself. Actually, since no one talks to me, I forgot my own name. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, can you give me a name? Onion. As real to beauty. Disgusting. Um, I'll call you Onion. Hmm, it's perfect, you hear? I don't know what it means, but it's perfect. Hmm, feels like it's shaped like me. Feels like it smells like me. Wait, what was that name? Uh, Onion? Yeah, that, it's perfect. Onion, that's my name. <laughs> Thank you for giving me a name. I'll cherish it, you hear? B Christmas? That's your name, right? <laughs> I want to tell you something. Tomorrow. Something I can only call a friend. Come back soon, you hear? Okay, bye, Onion. I'm going. Bye, guys. I'm sure there's something I can do in the other side of town. Mm -hmm. It's an ornate gate. It appears to be locked. I swear, like, Noel was around here. I swear, like, Noel was to show up or somewhere. I don't know. Oh wait, hang on, maybe, I, hang on, I think I know, I need, I need to go to the hospital and, and maybe like talk to the dad. Hi. Oh, it's you! Are you here to play the piano again? The patients can't hear it well from here, but I personally enjoy it. Uh, I guess, uh, yeah. <laughs> dad, I can't just say that to her. Oh my god, I'd die, I'd literally die. Oh well, sweetheart, first time I laid eyes on your mother, I walked right up to and told her she was a hot piece of work. It, really? Yeah, she slapped me so hard I blacked out. <laughs> uh, that doesn't help at all. Anyhow, how's Dragon Blazes 3? Beat it yet? Nah, uh, I'm still at the Ice Palace. I've been kind of, kind of waiting to finish it with you, Dad. Well, maybe, maybe you shouldn't wait. Dad? You should bring it here. I'm bored as hell. <laughs> Fine, you win. I'll bring it next time. Oh, it's getting late. Yes, I better go. I've got homework. Oh, that's the group project, boss. Bird guy again? What's his name? Nerdly? It's, um, Birdly. He's not that bad, Dad. I'll kick his butt. <laughs> Alright, you're not you're supposed to get out. Bring him by the window. I'll throw something at him. <laughs> Goodbye, Dad. Bye, honey. Thank you. Uh. Oh, hi, Chris. All right, I don't know. Let's just, I'm, I want to talk to your dad real quick. Well, jingle my gosh darn bells. Looks like Christmas came early. All right, Chris. Just give me the straight shot. Why are you here? Did your mom make you come here? No. Really? You've grown up a lot, Chris. I'm proud of you. It wasn't too long ago you were just the creepy kid next door. Now you're the creepy kid right in front of me. <laughs> okay, okay, seriously. You want to chat or something? That's the world. She's a sweetheart, isn't she, Chris? Smart, kind, sweet. Couldn't ask for a better daughter. I just wish she wasn't so defenseless. Scary movies, bugs, Santa Claus, everything scares her. And when it happens, she freezes like a deer in headlights. Remember, she used to even be afraid of humans under the bed. Chris, it was not nice of you to hide under there, by the way. Anyhow, that's why. 
It's tough about being in here, Chris. All what's going on with me is that, in the meantime, I can't be there to protect her. Keep an eye out for her, okay? Yes, sir. I will do what I can to help your daughter out. <laughs> Bye, Mr. Ma- Bye. And I think maybe that allows Noel to be up by the gate and we can maybe talk to her. Yeah, we can. Hello. Oh, hi, Chris. Did you need help with your homework again? I know you were having trouble last time, so... Um, I actually got a few things ready for you in case... Uh, wait, sorry. I can't right now. I forgot my house key again, and... Sorry, Chris. I'll help you later, if that's okay. See you at school, Chris. Um, Chris? Did you want to talk about something? How do you feel about Susie? Susie, that's right. You were with Susie. When you didn't come back to class, I was worried, but... Everything turned out okay, I think. Chris, can I ask you something, if that's okay? Susie, I'm kind of curious what she what she's like, you know? I mean, who doesn't wonder about her? She never talks to anyone. So, Chris, could you tell me about her, if that's okay? She's nice, terrible, eats chalk. What? She was eating the chalk? You're, really? Hey, you're teasing me, aren't you, Chris? But, like when you told me Ice E was real and eats kids? <laughs> so that smacked you with a, wh a whiffle bat. <laughs> Stop lying. Huh? You're telling the truth? Seriously? Um, and what color chalk does she like? And do you think she likes the thin or the thick kind? Hey, like maybe making her a lunchbox while the chalk is stupid. Yeah, I, I just wanted to do that because it gives a fun little Easter egg in the next chapter, but here, we're, here we, we're home. Welcome home, honey. Did you have fun with your friend today? By the way, I just finished baking a pie. If you go to bed, it will be cool when you wake. But do not eat it all this time, alright? <laughs> uh, uh, Chris, what is it, honey? A flyer of the flowers. Oh, Chris, flowers? From your mother? How sweet. These are from him, are they not? Uh, well, why not, Chris? I will find some place for them. She does not like Ascor. Even in un even, even in the parallel universe, they don't get along together. Uh, what about Azrael? Remember that video game you and Azrael used to play? What was it called? Super Smashing Fighters? When he was very little, he loved the green lizard from that. He even had a birthday party for him, Fiend it. Yeah. Your father painted all these eggs with spots as decoration. Oh, your brother loved it. Until the next day, your father cooked them all for breakfast. Your brother just kept crying. Ever since, he's hated that book about eating green eggs. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he doesn't like Dr. Seuss. Green eggs. Um, he looked inside the sink cupboard. There's a can of Icy's Cool Boys Body Spray. Spray for the boys. Lemon hot flavor. Seems to be almost entirely full. It's the toilet. Flush it. You flushed the toilet. Hooray! Alright. Uh, I suppose there's not much else to do but uh, go to bed. This is my room, right? No, I, don't think it's my room. I think this is my room, right? Yeah, this, yeah, this is the room. If you go to bed, this chapter of your adventure will end. Will you go to bed? Yes. You decided to go to bed. All right. And this concludes chapter one. What's happening? There's a Wrigglin. Wrigglin in the bed, struggling to sleep. Don't worry, Chris, I get that all the time. But I don't throw myself out of the bed. I don't do that. <laughs> oh, he sleepwalk. He's sleepwalking. He be sleepwalking. What's in them fingers? Oh god! Oh, he just tore his own soul out. And he threw it in the bird cage. Oh boy. Chris, you okay, man? Oh no, he's got a knife. And an evil glare in his eyes. Oh dear. Well, 
Well, that was, uh, that was Deltarune Chapter 1. Honestly, I'd say it's a pretty solid start to the Deltarune game. I know that, uh, Toby Fox is still working on this game, and he's gonna be releasing Chapters 3, 4, and 5 in a bundle. So, he's, I don't know when he's gonna release that, that's probably, hopefully it doesn't take, like, three years, like, Chapter 2. To be fair, Toby did have like he did have like a broken hand for, during that time, and he was also writing the full story for the like, rest of the chapter. So yeah, but um, I don't know when I'll get around to playing chapter two. Maybe like around the end of the year. Maybe I don't know. No, maybe maybe next year. I don't know. I want to take some time off for um, name uh yeah to be continued. Continue chapter two. Keep playing chapter one. Um, keep playing chapter one to now. But, um, I think that's gonna be it for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like down below, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you don't miss an upload made by me. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.